Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review is brought to you in part by Rogers Hobby Center in Saginaw, Michigan, where the fun begins. This review covers the Mailbox Chopper. It's a 125 scale MPC kit number 892. Now the Mailbox Chopper was inspired by a one-to-one -one creation from the studios of Ed Big Daddy Roth but with a few notable differences. The kit's bodywork isn't quite the same shape, and the original engine was a British Crosley car engine. The MPC kit debuted around 1971, and it was green on the box, like those postal use only drop boxes. But then again in 2005, in rainbow colors, and finally in 2020, in the Trick Trike series using the 2005 box art. Now this review covers the mailbox chopper which has 49 pieces molded in white, clear, clear orange, uh, clear green, chrome, and black vinyl tires. And a, it's a skill level 2 for the intermediate builder. And when you're done, the finished dimensions are 6 inches long, 3 inches wide, and 2 and a half inches high. And now, oh, I, I hear... Uh, I hear Newt. Um, sounds like he's got a question. He's our uh, program director, so uh, what's your question there, Newt? Hey, that looks like a kid's tricycle without the pedals. Well, it does have three wheels, but it uses a big Honda four-cylinder engine to provide power. So I guess that's pretty fast, right? Uh, oh yeah. Um, although they're not the most stable vehicles for cornering, if they're kept on a straightaway, they could easily go over 80 miles an hour. Here are the contents of the kit. As you can see, they're pretty nicely laid out, even though there's not many pieces there. Uh, it's a fairly easy build uh, with a little bit of uh, difficulty mounting the engine and some fragile points. We'll be using some super glue there and also uh, some slow setting glue for some of those to make sure everything lines up. Now, um, We'll be wanting to um, heed the manufacturer's use and safety guidelines when using any of the products that you see or hear used in the review. Here are the decals for the kit. Um, as you can see, they're extremely colorful. The registry is very good, and there's even some bonus decals there that won't fit on the motorcycle or the trike, but you know, you can use it uh, on a car or a truck. Um, you may need to use some setting solution if you use some of those uh, flames, etc. Uh, but for the most part, most of the surfaces are flat and the decals will go on pretty easily. So get these pieces out of the kit. These, uh, these are what's used to assemble the motor. It's a nicely detailed 125 scale um, model of the Honda four-cylinder engine. And uh, it can be, um, well... Highly detailed if you'd like. You can paint the fins uh, flat black or semi-gloss and, and do even more with that. Uh, you could locate spark plugs and wiring, tubing, etc. Uh, but it's a, it's a nice rendition of the Honda Big Four. Now, the uh, entire engine pieces are chrome-plated. Um, and you can leave them that way like a show, show bike would be. Um, but they assemble fairly easily. You just assemble the halves and the engine mounting bars, etc. Uh, there's also... Um, uh, you know some instructions at the end here if you need clearer detail on that uh, But it goes together pretty well But you just have to remember to scrape any chrome plating off of the mating surfaces that you want to glue together including the little ends and and uh, you know posts and and things that uh, Make the piece uh, glue to the frame and So uh, grab the um, the cover here with the Honda script and the uh, lower support bar and then uh, the uh, lower support bar, uh, remember to scrape the chrome, is attached to the uh, front lower half, the engine there. Uh, and that'll mount between the um, uh, pieces of the frame. And then the, um, the Honda cover there goes on the right side of the engine. Now here's a picture of the older uh, Jeep style postal vehicles uh, that I remember when I was younger. And um, I chose the, the dark blue there. Uh, as the color for my model along with the C cab mailbox decals uh, it looks like a pretty nice tribute to this uh, style now I uh, locate these pieces from the the kit the main gear there the frame halves and forks and um, I painted um, uh, the frame halves uh, dark blue 
uh, just uh, it's a tester's gloss dark blue and then the chain assembly is painted uh, semi gloss black and detailed with some gunmetal for the chain. Now the lower fork gets placed into the neck of the right frame half and then the engine assembly is installed into the right frame half. Now the left frame half then is attached to the right frame half and the engine assembly on the mounting bars. The chain assembly gets installed into the frame and then the engine supports 122 and 121 are not properly installed. Uh, you know if they're not in there correctly they won't line up with both frame halves. So when you glue those into position it helps to uh, do a mock-up and make sure that those uh, support bars are lined up with the engine halves before you glue your uh, frame together. Now what you see here are some tools that I use to help hold the frame together while the glue sets so there's no gaps. Um, there's a C-clamp there towards the back on the frame body. Some tweezers up top to uh, glue that uh, hub into you know, the fork mount. And then the, um, the C-clamp doesn't have to be very tight. Just, just um, you know, enough to hold everything in place. And there's also a modified clothespin there uh, to hold the thing up and in place until the glue dries. Um, and I used, uh, once again, the, the tweezers are, uh, uh, they're an always closed type. Uh, so that when you let go of them, they are still closed. And can kind of help uh, fit that uh, unit around the uh, fork uh, mount. One of the nice uh, highlights of this kit are the tires and wheels there. Very nice, uh, uh, nice rubber tires. And uh, the two front rim halves, numbers 101, they get installed into the front tire and glued together. Remember, scrape that uh, chrome plating off before you glue them. And I use a C-clamp uh, here as well to hold the two rim halves together until the glue was dry. Uh, now these nice uh, slicks and wheels will go into the back end, so uh, I painted the wheel backs there uh, semi-gloss black. And the rear rim back half gets installed into a rear wheel, and then uh, the front half gets installed into it, and uh, glued to the uh, back half there, so it's like a sandwich. Repeat, the, repeat these uh, steps for the second rear tire, and if you need to, you can use a C-clamp there to hold the rim halves together until the glue is dry. Now uh, these parts are used next and the top uh, half of the fuel tank number four gets attached to the bottom half and then the assembly gets spray painted the uh, gloss blue uh, and the fuel cap 107 gets attached to the tank fuel tank assembly there. Now the fuel tank assembly can be glued into the frame assembly and part 105 gets attached to 106 and 1056 assembly then is attached to the bottom of the fuel tank assembly. And now we'll get these pieces out. The, um, the left side cover there, 118, gets attached to the engine on the left side. And the upper fork half, number 102, is attached to the lower fork half, number 103. The uh, exhaust pipes come out uh, in two pieces. Um, there's 108 and 109, and they get assembled and installed into the frame assembly uh, out of the uh, front of the engine and down around and out the back. We'll uh, use these pieces next. Uh, you can see the headlight bezels and the headlights are in there with the uh, clear lenses. And first we're going to attach the lenses to those bezels and then uh, both the headlight assemblies get glued to the forks there in the center. You can see them. And uh, you get an option of clear, clear orange and clear green for the headlight lenses. So for this build I used the clear lenses. Some copyright logo and script on the inside uh, of number part number two of the body that can be easily covered up with some thick paint or you could sand it off. Now we'd be uh, working with the body halves and the seat there. Uh, so get those off the sprues and clean up any attachment points. And then um, they're going to be assembled and then uh, painted in uh, a, um, a primer type of gray. Something on the thicker side that's sandable. And then uh, you'll see there will be a, a seam there of course that's visible. Um, some uh, body uh, putty. Uh, is usable there. You could also use a little thin sheet styrene uh, on the inside underside of the uh, the roof there to strengthen the bond and, and make sure that uh, the two body halves are, are strongly held together. Uh, and then continue uh, with the uh, primering and sanding until you get a nice uh, uh, seam that uh, disappears underneath that and is ready for paint. 
and uh, I painted, of course, uh, the body, a, um, uh, the gloss uh, dark blue, uh, before I installed the uh, uh, seat into the back end there. And you can see uh, there's a little rim around the seat that's also blue. Um, now, the rear window, it's not shown here, but it's installed into the body assembly with some clear part cement window maker. And it's uh, probably a little easier to put that in place uh, before you add the uh, a seat into position there, although it is possible to get it in later. Now, just like the uh, headlight lenses, there's three options for the back window, uh, either clear orange, clear green, or just clear or clear. Now at this point you can go ahead and scrape the paint off uh, and then assemble the um, body onto the frame assembly. It, uh, it mounts pretty easily, it's pretty clear there, but uh, for more definition you can look at the instructions in back. And now tap uh, the um, one of the tire assemblies, rear tire assemblies, uh, into or or tap the uh, axle into that, and make sure that uh, it's seated. And then slide that through the axle assembly there, and gear drive, and then uh, squeeze the uh, other tire onto the other side. And now you can uh, assemble the front wheel assembly there onto the. Uh, the little nubs and posts that are uh, up front in the fork, um, you can either glue that into position or leave it uh, to rotate. And next we'll add the, uh, the foot pedals and the handlebars. You can see they're chromed and you'll have to uh, clean those up. If you do scrape off some uh, plastic or mounting points, uh, sprue points there, you can touch that up with a chrome pen or some silver paint. And then the handlebar assembly, number one of four, gets attached to the forks. Uh, and the left foot rest and the right one are attached to the frame. Just add decals and there you have it. Your model is complete. And it's really an attractive and clean looking trike. And it goes well on, on any display shelf. Obviously there is room here for detailing. Uh, as I said, there's uh, cables, uh, spark plug wires. You can treat the um, tread on the tires. You could add uh, some, uh, uh, you know, the uh, flat black areas between springs and in the fins you can uh, do anything you can do a number of things uh, it's just a great looking kit and um, if I were you I'd buy one and put it on my shelf hope you like this step-by-step -step model kit review and so that you don't miss any more please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the icon in the lower right hand of any of our videos and you could find us on Facebook or our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.